Okay, so it's this joint. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I want to see this way or this way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what he Not wants to do. Is he want? Yes, yeah, exactly. That's his thing. So yeah. then, so then, what I'll do when I'm asking is I'm gonna make sure that's uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. So that he starts to there. That's good on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then on the right, I see. You see, okay. I just want that same flexion because now it's like it has nothing to do with the neck. Yeah, no, totally. But what happens is if I let it be about the neck, I'm not going to demonstrate right now, yeah, but yeah. I'll show you after. Yeah. I just want to get to it. And so then here it's kind of that meditative again. It's just yeah. like, and I just create little motions. There, 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 there. there. Yeah. Um, but what happens is, so, so he wants to tip. Yeah. Well, if he has it in his mind to bend his neck, yeah, he, he does do that whatever he wants. Because he's tips. thinking here, yeah, yeah, yeah. and this locks that. And here. Yes, you want to make sure you're here. Yeah, I'm keeping like I'm keeping his nose from exactly. tipping. Exactly. Okay. And the way to do that, see, so so to the degree that you feel inability, mm -hmm. I move this. Mm -hmm. Totally. So if I just am standing here to try to show him, yeah. it's not a big deal. Yeah. But if I really want to get a change, yeah. this motion yeah. will open that uh, yeah, almost yeah. immediately. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah. And that's why, see, that's where you can see the connection. So mm -hmm. I say shoulder first mm -hmm. because that opens this. Right. And then that changes this. Right. Now, once that's clean, it's hindquarters first. Right. See, I want them to get under themselves, but they can't get under themselves right, if, if the alignment's not right. 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 Yeah, you bet. See, there's good rotation. And you want it to be very subtle with a soft hand. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that makes a lot more so fun. then if you right there, see if you let him bend. So if you got behind his shoulder, he's going to overbend. That's why you have to stay in front of him. Yeah, I feel it. So the other thing you can do is you can take your flag and you can just gently put it to the other side of his shoulder. If you feel like and you can go underneath his nose. Yeah. Okay. If he falls too far in the riding and you'll see this, you can use your outside leg. Yeah. That, there, 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 yes. Yeah. And then rotation, there is the hind leg. Yeah. Yes, yes, good. See, that is how you get connection. Yeah. Okay, too high, too fast, tension. Yeah. Too low, too much, over flexion. Yeah. But we're trying to get the horses to the place where there's a throughness happening. Now just lower his head just a little bit. Feel the top line relax right there. Yeah. Now try your rotation, that's it. There, 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 and there's a connection behind. Yeah. That's his physiological center point longitudinally. Every horse, you got to figure this out, guys. Every horse needs to be, needs to be, um, we need to find them. There. And see, now you have throughness. I can feel it. Like, if his shoulder goes too far, then I'm toast. As soon as the shoulder goes too far, the telltale is over flexion. Yeah. If the shoulder falls in, they're going to pop their head up and out. Yeah. It's the beautiful thing about the mechanics of the horse. Yeah. The, the, their bodies are their bodies. That's it. You got it. And then if his head stays too low, he's going to start. Yep, like exactly. Now, also understand, there's times when you can let his head be low. Like he's just relaxed and he's cool. Yeah. But from a perspective of physiological posturing, that has a very possible negative. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. So like yeah. ever, so you know how I've talked about, it's not about the lowering of the head, it's yeah. about the feel. So your arm has to be very clearly not stiff. Yes. There, 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 there. And you find the spot where it's like his neck is in a position where really the only thing he can do is rotate his pole. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah, there, there, there. Yeah. And see then the rotation immediately strikes his hindquarters. Yeah. I'm telling you, most horses have always been asked out of balanced things so they can't get together. They can't align their bodies. Good. And then make sure that if he starts to struggle, you bring him forward with your flag, not your left hand. Because if you use your left hand, you pull his nose out from underneath his jaw and he un, he un uh, connects his pole. So this is why the horse always has to come forward to the hand. Now in the riding, it makes more sense because we're bringing them from behind. But in the groundwork, it's almost always people are pulling the head. That's it. Yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. And you're moving your flag well. What I want you to be very considerate of is the softness of your left hand. Okay. Because it's on their face, hey? It's like pretty sensitive. Good, okay. And then when you find a good spot, then you'll send them out on the circle or you can stop. Okay. But that's awesome, awesome. Okay. And you start slowly, pretty soon what happens is 
that just becomes the way he moves. Yep. He just envisions, you know, picking up his shoulder, stepping under himself, and they start moving that way no matter, no matter, because it's actually quite a bit more comfortable.